Hello, and welcome to this quick energy flow. Stand with your feet a hip width apart, toes pointed out. We'll start knocking on heaven's door. You're gonna open up your arms and shift your weight from foot to foot, pointing your toe as you twist your body. Your hands will smack to the sides of your glutes and your arms will go from side to side, opening through the chest and stretching through the shoulder. Repeat this for about a minute. Then you will switch into our next segment. Rise with the sun. You're going to bend your knees slightly as you swoop your arms forward and reach up. You're going to want to bend your knees, keeping your heels in contact with the floor while your hips go back. Now raise your arms up and really reach through to the top. You're going to let your shoulders and chest raise as your arms come through to the sides. Continue bending the knees, swooping the arms up for about a minute. Isolating one arm at a time with the standing arm raise to rotation. So you're going to stand just straight up and keep your hips locked, trying not to twist through the torso. You're going to allow your upper back to twist as you reach up behind you and follow your arm with your gaze. Continue this for about a minute or five to ten each arm. For the rest of these exercises, you'll want to make sure your chin is tucked. Your shoulders are in line with the rest of your spine and your core is drawn in. You're going to be doing an airplane with a hinge. So an airplane hinge has your knees just slightly bent and your hips going back, which will work your hamstrings. Your arms are in an airplane, your shoulder blades squeeze together in line with the sides of your body and you're going to go down as far as you can about parallel, not fully parallel if we can't get there. And again, remember to keep that chin tucked. Continue this exercise for about a minute or up to 10 reps. Next up is the standing cat cow. You will stand with your feet at hip width apart, toes pointed forward, your hands resting comfortably on your thighs, your hips back. As you go into your cow pose, your shoulders come down and back towards the middle of the back, the low back arches, and the tailbone lifts. Transition into your calf by pulling your shoulders forward, caving your chest inwards, separating your shoulder blades, and rounding your back, pulling your tailbone closer to your body. For this next exercise, you'll be repeating the same side for about a minute or five reps. You're going to put one foot forward and the other toe pointed slightly out. Step back with the back toe, square your hips, core tight. You're gonna raise your arms forward. You're gonna open up and twist through the torso. Open the shoulders, squeeze them together as the arms come down and repeat on each side as many times as you'd like. Then you'll transition to the split stance arm raise to a side dip. You'll be in that same split stance position, only this time you'll take the arm that is behind or with the leg that is back. You're gonna raise it up through to the side. You're gonna squeeze your core and you're gonna slowly go to the side of the leg that is in front and return to the center before switching. You don't have to alternate here. You can stay on each side for about a minute or five reps on each side.
This next one feels so good. It's the sumo squat with T rotations. You're going to have your feet nice and wide, your toes pointed out. You'll rest your hands gently on your thighs as you go into your squat position. You're going to keep your squat and your hips as centered as possible as you rotate your torso. You're gonna move from side to side, moving and looking back behind your shoulder here. One chest caves inward, the other one opens up through to the side. And you're gonna to want to be following that line of movement with your head. And ended with a little opening there. We're gonna come into a mountain pose next, finishing it out. You have your heels together, your toes pointed out. You scoop your glutes and you have a slight bend in through your knees, really feeling the center of your core light up here as you open up your shoulders and chest and take a few deep breaths. 